Hi, today I have been inspired by the Queen's Garden Party, sort of fruity colours and more warmer colours. I've done one eye so that it's not as, uh, take to, so it doesn't take so long to, to do the other. This is, our, these, this is how it looks. There you go. And now I will start. First I've <coughs> moisturised my face and I have put on Vanilla Bisque Foundation. On my cheeks I have um, the Sunset Blush and on my eyebrows I have only the Brow Fix and on my lips I have the Lip Gloss Berry Mauve. Translucent powder, I've used the translucent powder number three, so the darkest one to set. So now I will start with the eye colours. First of all, we'll do the base with ginger. And I'm using for that a flat brush, flat paddle. And I will be applying that all over the eye. I hope you can see that guys. It's a matte colour. I'm using matte colours today. And important is if you don't have enough colour, you want it stronger, then build it up. Don't put it on all at once. Right. Then I'm going over to Cool Breeze which is a very soft brown and we're going to use that only on the inside of the eye so that it makes the eyes bigger and once again don't forget build up and I'll use it also into the crease only up to the middle Right, then I'll change brushes. I'm going to use now the fluffy blender brush and I'm going into Purple Rain. We start on the outer corner and go up into the crease, once again building up. So building up right into the crease like that. Okay. Then I switch brushes again and I'm dipping into linen. I do that on the top of the eye as my highlight and blend it in towards the front. I hope you can see that well, like that. Next, I'm going to use the burnished brown eye pencil and I will do the upper line of the eyelashes and extend a tiny bit out. And do the bottom line of the eyelashes only halfway. Then take the blender pencil and blend into the eyelash line. Next, I'm using my white clarifier. to the bottom and this time the top 
inside then take once more your bl the blender brush into linen and just go slightly underneath with the linen and now apply mascara There you have it. In case you don't remember, I'll be putting all the products I've used, the colours I've used, into the information box over there. And so we go. All inspired by the Queen's Garden Party. Fruity look. There we go. Bye-bye. Four regular garden parties are held each year. One at the Palace of Holyrood House in Scotland and three at Buckingham Palace. Approximately 10,000 guests from all walks of life are invited to each garden party. Their names are put forward by the government, the armed services, and a number of different charities and societies. The gates open at 3 p.m., but guests often start queuing much earlier. Once they have arrived in the Buckingham Palace Garden, there is much to do. Two bands play alternately, tea is served, and there is an opportunity to relax and explore the garden. A unique opportunity, as unlike the state rooms, the garden is never open to the general public. There is much more to the garden than just the lawn on which the garden party is held, including a wealth of wildlife, beautifully kept flower beds and a summer house. The normal food that's served at um, every garden party is, is sort of standard afternoon fare, which is basically sandwiches um, and assortment of cakes, um, some bridge rolls, uh, coffee, tea and juice. At 4 p.m. the royal family come onto the west terrace which overlooks the garden. When the Queen reaches the steps, the national anthem is played. <laughs>